five years old, Wichita native Corleone Young fell in love with the game of basketball. He did, and after starring at East High, his talents would take him to the NBA and later overseas. KSN Sports Director Chris Arnold going one-on-one -on -one with Corleone Young. Chris. Well, Jeff, Emily, Young is an example of how dreams can come true, but sometimes they just don't always pan out like we had hoped. But now is the next chapter of Young's life coming full, full circle to where it all began. Corleone Young is a Wichita through and through. From 24th in the rain is where I grew up, um, from the northeast side of town. And it's where his mom introduced him to the game of basketball at a young age. Started off at five years old. I found something that I just like to do. You know, I gained a love for it. You know it. As far as the records I set, the block shots, the rebounds, I had a great supporting cast. I had Laverne Smith. Jamaica's race. That's just to name a few. His head coach, Ron Allen, had a front row seat to it all. His athletic abilities were so natural. You know, he was a kid that was 6'7", 6'8", and he could play like a guard, had a great passion for the game. Uh, he had the whole package. And whether it was the pit, as the old East High gym was known back then, or other places across the city, Crowds came in droves to see the young phenom put on a show. They used to sell out Coke Arena. We had eight, 9,000, packed it out. That was standing room only almost outside to get your ticket. And I mean, it was just a wonderful environment. And we came out on top. After his junior year, Young would take his talents to Hargrave Military Academy, winning a state title and positioning himself for one of the most important decisions of his life. I'm here today to announce my intent to declare myself eligible for the NBA draft. My mom asked me what you want to do. She blessed me. And that's why I love my mom uh, to this day, because she blessed me to, uh, to achieve my dream. It would be on June 24th, 1998, Young's dream would come to fruition with a phone call. Everybody went quiet. He said, hey, how you doing? This is uh, the Detroit Pistons. This is Rick's son, and uh, we want to welcome you. It's the greatest feeling I ever had. But his NBA career would be short-lived. In all, he played just three games, 15 minutes in all, over one season. Played a few games. When asked about my year there, teammates that I had, wonderful. They got me through that year. He'd latch on with the Philadelphia 76ers the following summer for a short period of time before taking his talents overseas. I went to the IBL and I played in the CBA. Um, then I, after that, I went overseas, um, played in China, uh, spent time in Italy, spent time in Israel, played in Australia, played in Russia. Before finally hanging up his jersey and sneakers in 2010. My one minute of fame, as a kid's dream, never regret. Now, his passion for the game has shifted. Working hard. To trying to help and mold young kids and young athletes by putting on camps and training them to be the best they can be. Social skill teach. I drill social skills. Communication, discipline. He's also taken on a job as an assistant coach for the new semi-pro basketball team, the Wichita Wizards. And he's even co-authored a book with his mentor, Kevin Harrison. The book is called One and Done. Over the course of the last four years, four and a half years, we've got enough content to where I think we really have a good book. I'm going to put them in my life and how I grew up, the decisions I made, the thought process that I made in making those decisions, the good and the bad. As for the next chapter in the life of Corleone Young. As I found that happiness, and I found that happiness again right back where I came from. And Young's book is expected to be released sometime next month. Now, a major message both Young and his co-author Harrison are hoping people get out of it is that even when you get knocked down in life, if you can get up again, you can prevail. Chris Arnold, KSN News 3.